Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you the five must-dos to independently release your music. Now, of course, there aren't going to just be five things when you're releasing new music, but these are more core guiding ideas to get you started. We'll also be providing a new music release checklist, which is far more granular and pretty comprehensive, so stick around to get a printable version of that. To do number one, make a timeline. We've seen a lot of various suggestions on how long these should be, but we are here to tell you to give yourself as much lead time as possible. Some platforms even prefer that you're pitching up to 8 weeks in advance of release date. So to give your music the best chance of landing on playlists and getting editorial features, give yourself time. On the flip side, apart from a pre-release date plan, you're going to need a post-release date plan. It's not uncommon for DSPs and distributors to ask for this because they want to understand how much you're going to be promoting your own music once it's released. And that can factor into whether or not they add you to certain playlists or promote your music to certain users. For your post-release date timeline, we recommend planning out at least two weeks of content. Are you going to be posting on social media? Are you going to be releasing a new playlist? Maybe a new lyric video? and maybe include your social media ads from as well. Just make sure that you have daily touch points for new fans to engage with. So here is a very rough outline of a release timeline, just to give you an idea of the things that you should be considering. If you have any more questions about what you should be putting into your timeline, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Moving on to item number two, craft your visual brand. So based on your timeline, you're going to have a pretty good understanding of how many images or pieces of content you'll be needing. And we strongly suggest that you have a variety of high quality press images, which all live in a similar, cohesive, aesthetic world so that new fans can get an understanding of what kind of artist you are. You're going to need these images not just for promotion and for press, but also for metadata. Easy little tip. Record all of your processes from songwriting with your bandmates or just hanging out or recording music in the studio because all of it makes amazing behind the scenes content. If you're interested in learning more of the do's and don'ts of crafting your visual brand, but specifically for digital, we highly recommend checking out our latest A2YM artist webinar where digital marketing experts from Twitch, Reach Records, and The Syndicate break down real artist profiles. Moving on to item number three, learn how to pitch yourself and get comfortable doing it. As a new artist, in order to convince people to listen to you or place you on playlists, you're going to have to be able to tell the story of yourself and your music. Whether it's through a short paragraph or your social media, think about the story that you're conveying and the unique characteristics that you can highlight. And it's also just not a matter of getting comfortable telling your own story, but trying out different mediums of doing that. For example, you can't just be writing a text message and posting it on Instagram. You're going to have to get new images, but also why not try something like TikTok? Or maybe if you're a gamer, you can be streaming on Twitch. You're going to have to try different mediums in order to reach different audiences and find out which one it resonates with. Here's a tip. Take a look at the playlists out there and see where your music can fit in. As you're probably aware, a lot of playlists are seasonal or tied to calendar events, such as Hispanic Heritage Month or the end of your holiday season. So when you're pitching your music, be sure to use descriptors that suggest where you think you can fit in. If you're interested in learning more about how to tell your own story, especially through digital mediums, check out our Digital Marketing Fundamentals class with executives from Domino Records and Photo Finish. Moving on to item number four, pick a distributor. There are a lot of options out there for self-releasing artists, and each distributor has a different structure which may be better suited to you and your music. If you're having a hard time picking a distributor, we highly recommend checking out our distribution derby with representatives from these distros, discussing questions from what is a distributor and why do I need one to what is metadata, and also talking about unique selling points of their own platforms. And finally, moving on to item number five, do the best practices research and follow through. On streaming platforms, distribution platforms, and social media platforms, most of them provide guides on best practices of how to make the most of their unique capabilities. So for example, on Spotify, they have their Canvas capability, which is that video that appears behind the track information. And that added visual element could prompt somebody to listen to your music. And then on Bandcamp, for example, they recommend that artists upload all their lyrics so that fans can discover you through the search, and it also shows that you're active on the platform. 
So do justice to your music and give it the best chance of succeeding by doing the legwork, reading the guides, and following those best practices. And there you have it, our five to-dos on how to release music independently. And finally, as promised, in order to access our new music release checklist created by Head Music CEO Madeline Nelson, head to hym.org and sign up for our free HYM Artist Program. Through the HYM Artist Program, we provide resources and educational and networking opportunities for up and coming artists. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more music industry news, educational webinars, and exclusive artist performances. If you want to tell us what kind of content you want to see, please drop a comment below.